Welcome to making the library collection work for you. We're focusing on the social sciences and humanities for this particular session. In this session, we are going to discuss the library resources that you might use for your course, um, understand the depth and breadth of the library's collection about your particular field of study, and then feel more confident in discussing the library's collection with librarians, colleagues, and your students. So for example, if your student is interested in something, we want you to feel confident to say, oh yeah, the library can help you with that. So that the student knows that they can trust the library to provide resources and materials for them as they learn and grow um, in their college experience. So a few things to kind of keep in mind about library collection is that we have a collection policy that helps shape the ways that we collect materials. So collecting things that reflect the college's mission, collecting things that reflect the college's programs, and collecting things that support lifelong learning and personal enrichment. I'm not gonna read the entire collection development policy, but it is all written out there. So if you wanna click on the link, you can definitely do that. And we have a very large collection. So we have three campus libraries, one here at Harnett, one here at Sanford, and one here um, in Chatham. And there's tons of materials online as well. And so it can create information overload. It can start to feel like there's so much stuff out there. How am I supposed to read it all? And you don't have to. What we're gonna focus on is that we have a large amount of materials and we want you to be successful and we'll help you be successful. So most of our major collection development purchases are made once we receive the budget. It typically happens in August and September. And of course, you know, if we get the budget a little bit later, then those purchases are made a little bit later. But what we do is um, we wait until we get the budget and then we can go out and, and purchase materials, both physical and ebook materials. Although, if you have ideas for things that we can purchase, you can always send some of your suggestions. We'd love to have your suggestions. It can help us make really good choices. Our typical categories when we think about the collections are popular, university transfer, career and technical education, health sciences, and discretionary. Those categories can fluctuate, but for the most part, that's a good division of categories to help kind of make sense of the materials that we that we purchase. This year I was working with university transfer in the ebooks. And so um, a lot of the selections that you'll see are the ones that I made this year um, and hopefully that you'll find beneficial. So how we choose is a interesting process because we get information from a lot of different places. Um, so there's Choice Magazine, there's Kirkus, Publishers Weekly, New York Times, NPR, Booklist, Library Journal, Bookpage. Those are the top ones that we tend to use. Um, I know that if I find a book on Publishers Weekly and the review is maybe a little hesitant about something, I'll double check with Kirkus or Library Journal or Choice Magazine just to see if there's maybe a good reason why they might be hesitant or if it's just that particular reviewer. Choice is a great option for librarians uh, because we actually get a, sort of a summary of the book and then typically at the end, not always, but typically at the end, it will tell you this book is recommended for upper division grad, graduate students or for faculty and staff or for general readers. And so that gives us an idea of will this book fit in the collection? And I'm actually gonna show you how to find choice if that is something that you're interested in. But we'll do that in just a minute. Um, I look at a lot of newsletters, so I'm signed up for a lot of um, messages from local bookstores, from Barnes and Noble. And that just gives me some ideas about the kinds of things that people are reading. It's not necessarily that we will get those specifically recommended books, though sometimes if they're popular, we might. Um, it just gives me an idea of what people are are thinking about what's trending, what might be good to search as we think about building our collection. Professional associations. So if you're a part of any professional association, you know you participate in all these different kinds of conversations. 
that are about what's currently happening in the field. And when we get recommendations from those associations, it can help us make our decisions to pick materials that reflect what the associations are interested in and talking about. Uh, we look at other libraries. And then we also like recommendations from you. When you tell us something that you're interested in or that you think would be valuable, we take that into consideration as well. But this just gives us a broad variety of diverse ideas and diverse materials that we might choose from. So finding books in our collection can be challenging. Like I said, it can be information overload, but there are some strategies you can take. So, ways to search. You can search in the catalog. It's often easier to find something that you know something about, but you can still search by keyword or subject, kind of give you an idea of what that looks like in just a minute. You probably already know how to search the catalog, but I just want to show you a little bit more about this material and how to, how to search for the materials that you would like to find. Summon is going to be your default search and that's going to be for online materials ebooks articles that kind of thing and you can type in your search term you'll be able to check full text online you can limit to ebooks if you're specifically looking for ebooks you can limit to a chosen discipline as well and so searching the catalog you're looking for physical materials searching some and you're looking for electronic materials which can range from uh, libguides or websites um, to articles to ebooks. Um, and so there's lots of different ways to search. And I'm going to just show you really quickly just one way that you can search either the catalog or summon. So go to the library's homepage here, which is cccc.edu forward slash library. You'll see here we have our summon search and our catalog search. We'll search the catalog first. So here you can see that um, it is much easier to search for a specific text than it is maybe to search for if you don't know what you're looking for, but you can still find materials just as a matter of how you search. So I'm gonna search for something I already know, the 1619 project. So we're gonna put the title in here and I can change this to title since I already know that. And then click the magnifying glass, which is going to search our catalogs. And you can see that we do have this in our system. And then it's going to show you the call number and where you can find it. You can, of course, search for other terms, other ideas, other authors, whatever you want to search for, you can. But the catalog is very useful in um, locating to see if the library has something. If maybe you are interested in something, but you're like, I don't know if the library will actually have it, you can give it a shot or you can just say, hey, can, can you look and see if in your catalog you have something related to fill in the blank. So let's try anthropology in this case. So we, we're searching for anthropology, and then we're going to change that to all fields because I want to see if there's anything in titles. I want to see if there's any subjects or any keywords. I want to see what's out there. So we'll click search, and then the system will pull up anything that's got reference to anthropology. And you can see we've got a lot of really good materials. And then I can kind of narrow down based on what I'm interested in. It really just depends on what you would like to find in the catalog. Again, you can search for what you know, or you can search for um, a specific item that you know, or you can search just in general. Um, but there is a lot of information out there. So if you are maybe feeling overwhelmed and frustrated, or you feel like your students might feel overwhelmed and frustrated in this process, then we can kind of help get you and them, your students started with some very specific searches, something that's gonna give them some concrete direction. There's a lot of information out there. We want, it to, we want you to be successful and happy with what the library offers. And we, we know that, that the most important thing is really um, collaborating so that we can all be successful together. Okay, so that was a catalog search. Now we're gonna search Summon. In this case, I'm gonna search for um, 
an idea or, or a topic using some different strategies. So I'm going to search for anthropology. That's going to be my keyword. And I'm going to do and. So in this case, and is going to help me combine terms and anthropology and whatever else I want to look for. So every result that I get will relate to anthropology and whatever content I'm looking for. So I'm going to do writing or ethnography or genre. Now you'll see here that in parentheses, we got writing or ethnography or genre. So I'm going to find anthropology combined with one or more of those terms. The or just expands that search a little bit. The parentheses helps the system to know I'm looking for, in this case, what we would say are synonyms. And click full text online, click the magnifying glass. And you'll see that we get a lot of articles. We can also see that we get books. See, there's an ebook right there. We can limit if we wanted to. I want to just limit to ebooks for right now. And if I really thought, okay, I really got to focus specifically on anthropology, you'll see here down under the discipline anthropology. Now, this might push out something that I might have wanted, but this is still on a content. So maybe I just want to narrow my search just in this way for right now. And that helps us to look around a little bit at, here's rhetoric in American anthropology, gender, genre, and science. And notice that some of these things like street style and ethnography of fashion farming, ethnography at work, we have a lot of really great stuff, but your students um, might, or you and your students might look at this in the first search and think, oh, this is a lot of information. Um, I just really wanted to find some very specific things on this topic. The library can do that for you. Just reach out to us and let us know. I would really like if you would help me find books and articles on this very specific topic. And we can help you at least get started um, and help you kind of feel more comfortable and confident with searching through the, the materials that we have. We have a ton of stuff, so it can be very overwhelming and we get that. So just feel confident knowing that the library is here for you. Right. If at any point you're like, oh, I would really love to just learn more about this search process. Like I, I, I can do it on my own. I just really want to practice some searching. I would love to do that too. I love to search for things. So feel free to reach out about that too. So finding the books you want, you can use keywords like we did. You can use quotation marks if you're looking for a specific phrase, parentheses, or Boolean search operators. That's your and and your or. You can scan some results for other keywords or search terms. You can also ask librarians to help compile a list um, of keywords, subject terms, or titles. Whatever works for you, we can help you find it. So here are some selections of physical materials that we have recently purchased and that have been recently added to our physical catalog. So we have the 1619 Project, a new origin story that is very popular right now. And um, the essays have been, there's some essays that have been added um, and poetry has been um, included as well. So it's, uh, it was originally in the New York Times Magazine. Now it's in a book form and it is, covers um, a range of topics from the American Revolution to sugar to punishment and the justice system. We have Truth to Post-Truth. Um, in American Detective Fiction Dr. by Dr. David Watson, who of course is here at CCCC. Um, we have more information on authors like Sylvia Plath. We also have another book that we just got called Orwell's Roses about looking at Orwell as a writer, but also as a gardener as part of his identity and sort of rereading his writing through the lens of being a gardener. Travels with George in search of Washington and his legacy. We've got that. Work Won't Love You Back. Um, the Dawn of Everything, A New History of Humanity. So these are some new books that have been added to our physical collection. Some new books that we've added to our ebook collection 
uh, range from anthropology to history with Eliza Hamilton, to composition and rhetoric, to even art. It just depends. We can cover things from religious commentary to historical analysis. And so this is, these are just a few of the ones that I've highlighted here, but we've got more. So if you are, see something that you're interested in or you wanna know if we've got it, let me know. These are a couple titles that we're gonna add soon. We have not yet added them to our ebook catalog, our summit. So in summon, this is what would come up. Um, but these are some titles that you might be interested in. So some other resources. We have poetry databases, film databases, current and historical newspapers. And so students do tend to rely heavily on research databases, which is great. I mean, most of them are doing research and we like to see that. But if, for example, they would like to see a video, maybe they wanna watch a video about a particular topic, or they want to read some original poetry by, um, a 19th century author or a 20th century author. They can use our library for that. They don't have to just necessarily come to the physical library and get a book. They of course can, but we also have a lot of that available online. And I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. And then journals. Sometimes when you're looking for an article, you can't always find it in some, and you're like, you know, I know it's out there, but I can't really find it where I need to find it. We can help you find it in a variety of creative ways. And one of those ways is looking through journals directly. And so I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. If you are interested in knowing a little bit more about what we subscribe to, you can look through those journals with specific titles in mind. So if you have a journal in mind that you think, oh, I, I want to read this one. I, I don't want to buy a subscription or I, I just really need one article from this particular journal. You can search the system to see if that journal is available online. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So now we're back at the library's homepage. You can see here, here's our databases tab and here's our journals tab. We're going to look at databases first. You can see A to Z listing or find by subject or find by format. So notice under the humanities, um, we've got all our subjects here. Most folks will start with these best bet articles. And, and that's great. A lot of them are either reference or research. And that's typically what students are working on, right? And that's what a lot of folks are working on at this point is research papers. But if students or you want to read poetry, we actually have a lot of databases for that. African American poetry, American poetry. We have a book review index, so you can read book reviews uh, about numerous disciplines. So if you have a book in mind that you're interested in, this book review can be a great place to start. If maybe you can't find it anywhere else, give that a try. But again, if you're like, I really just need a review, but I can't find it, let the library know. We want to help. English poetry. Um, there's your lit finder. You can also see here that we've got religious databases and then 20th century African American poetry, 20th century American poetry, that kind of thing. Um, and then we've also got our newspapers, our international newspapers, historic North Carolina digital newspaper collection, Wall Street Journal. So there's tons of great databases to look through that might not be the typical thing that you think about right away when you think of databases. And so if you're curious to know more, please let us know. We can definitely highlight, oh, these databases might be really good for when you do your poetry section, or these databases might be really good when you wanna read more about North Carolina newspapers. Okay, and then we will go back to our homepage, cccc.edu forward slash library. And then we'll look at our journals. So remember I said at the beginning of the presentation about Choice Magazine, we use that a lot to choose books for the library. And then it can sometimes recommend books for, it'll give you a review of the book and then I'll tell you this is really great for general readers. We actually do have that access to that. So I'm gonna show you how you can search for a journal. So in this case, we're gonna search for Choice. 
We're gonna click the little magnifying glass. And then we've got our choice. This, this is the one we wanna look at. Notice here, it'll tell you the range and then where you can find it. And then all you would need to do is click on one of the links that you can find it at, it, which is one of our databases that we have access to. And then you can read through these or you can search depending on what you're looking at, depends on what you wanna find. You can obviously search through Summon for some of these reviews. You don't have to go specifically to the journal, but if that is a way that you would like to get to the material, you can definitely do that. Um, another one you might do is college, composition and communication. This is a pretty popular one with rhetoric and composition. So if you can just search that, and then you can click and explore more. You can see here that from 1950 to 2017, it's in one database. And then from 1997 to present, it's in a couple others. They're spread out like that. So if that's a little overwhelming, we can, you can just let us know. I'm trying to find this article. I know I saw it, or I'm just wondering if it's out there. Can you help me? Yes, we would love to. And then finally, I just want to, make you aware of some other two other resources. First, CC Link and Interlibrary Loan. So CC Link is something that we do with the other community colleges, meaning if you want a book and you want to see if we have it and we don't, and you're like, where, where should I get it from? We can ask other community college libraries in North Carolina if they will be willing to send us their copy of that book if they have it. And so we can get it from another community college library and then you can come and check it out. Interlibrary loan is very useful. If we really don't have access to the material, but you really need it and you want it, then you can let us know what you're looking for. And we will request that from wherever we can find it located. Sometimes it'll be a university, sometimes a public library, but we'll try to get it to you. And then you can come and check it out just like you would a book, another book. Your feedback is always welcome, even though um, we purchase between August um, or when we get the budget in August, typically, um, you can always send us ideas. So the library's material request form, you can always use that. That's a great way to sort of say, hey, I, I know this book. I think it'll be really great for the collection. Can you, can you consider it for purchase? And that's one thing to keep in mind is, you know, uh, you can tell us lots of suggestions and we're really happy to have them. But you do want to think about, you know, if you need it like tomorrow, we may not be able to purchase it that quickly. Whereas if you need it maybe for in a year or in the next semester, or you want to incorporate it then, that's one way that you could get that material. We could work through that together. And then you want to create a book list, you're looking for a particular book, you want to create course materials, or you're looking for what we here in the library offer that you could use in your class, just email me or email the library. You can even set up an appointment if you prefer. Whatever works for you, you can do. Um, I'm happy to help in any way. So if you want to send an email, send an email. You want to make an appointment, make an appointment. It's whatever works best for you as you're building your class um, content and as you're looking through the library resources. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. We look forward to helping you here at the library.